Just a little video for you guys of all the updates and custom scripts. Check this shit out. Well, what up, guys? Hey, it's the last time we spoke. I gave you the R2 server. I'm bringing you some amazing updates here. For one, let's start at the start. I do have uh, the lead admin here of R2. His name's Ontugs. Absolute legend. Say hello to YouTube, Ontugs. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy to be here. So he's he's gonna basically we're we're gonna run through all the changes and all like let's start at the start the rules, the rules have been changed because Overpack is a PVP, it's it's a, a free roam server so the rules have been changed to that. Take a quick look. Some of the big updates. Look at the right hand side. They've brought back the R2. I mean not not the R2 but the <laughs> the DayZ. Do you know the old DayZ? Your food, your water icons. They're all back. Um, but let me let me just say this. This is actually a video, and I'm taking it from the development server, because the server that we actually play on is quite populated between 25 and 50 people at any time. So we couldn't make this video without getting into a fight. So the stuff that you see here is going to be implemented in the next what what would you say on talks three days? Well, we're planning on the next. We're planning on actually it's either tonight or even tomorrow evening, but, you know, we want to do extensive testing, make sure all, like, you know, world objects are okay and everything like that, so, and also that all the other scripts, we're adding a bunch of little Easter egg scripts in that are, some are custom, some we've pulled off other scripters, uh, just to add a little polish to the game, so I'm thinking in the next couple days, within the, within the week, we're going to launch this next update. We just did a huge update recently with Toe Scripts and deployable units and vehicles and stuff like that well, so the deployables we're gonna we're, we're, gonna, we're actually going to show you the deployables are quite impressive another 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 big thing is look at the right hand side you can see the R2 clan the team speak you can see your FPS the players on the server a life for many days crypto and your grid ref which is massive you know that's that's another script that's going to be coming in but something i have to show you guys is this now watch i'm actually going to come third person for this scroll wheel and custom loadout I look at this so as soon as you spawn in look at this I've got a sniper loadout how you get credits now you buy this with R2 credits and I can't yep. I can't say this enough this is not a pay to win server you no. get you get credits by staying active in the forums signing up to the R2 website and then taking part in advance and we yep. will show you the arena very soon like but I, I paid a thousand crypto for this. I haven't donated a thing being part of R2. I haven't donated a thing, but yet now I've got a sniper loadout. And uh, me and Ontogs are going to show you around the server. Um, we're going to give you some massive updates and show you some of the awesomeness and the custom scripts that we have right here. So, Ontogs, uh, pick your poison. What port are we going to, bud? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to port you right to the arena, I guess. We'll start with ah, that. Ah, let's do that. Cool. See, this is this is a great thing about having an admin and being on the test server. And something, while he's saying this, is all scripts are tested on the on the actual... Development server, yeah. Yeah. So that way, whenever they implement them, there's never no downtime. There's never no bullshit. Now, if you want to do two things, bud, um, if you want to spawn in like a chopper and turn it daylight so we can get a, an aerial view of like the arena and show them like inside the castle and the hunger games and we, we can talk a little yeah, bit so like on talks uh if you want to jump in there and burn her up and i shall show sure. the guys the earplugs menu uh the, the script so obviously whenever that you get into a chopper and it gets really loud let's just pull that down and you have to start roaring as it gets really loud scroll wheel put in earplugs and it dies down and now you on talk say hello Hey, how's it going, guys? Look at that shit we can hear! So that's another script that you don't have to pull up the menu or any other bullshit. Uh, I'm going to jump no on the... Required for that. Exactly, that's that's just on here. Uh, go ahead, bud. You want to get up? And then, what did, what did you give the tour of this, Ontogs? So this is... Carry away. Alright. So this here, we're going to start with event one is our Hunger Games Island, totally customized, over a thousand objects placed on this part of the island alone. 
to see a little town here to start. This is basically your slash Hunger Games or Battle Royale arena. Which you actually get off. our two credits for taking part. Absolutely. That's what we want people to do is participate in the server, earn their R2 credits, and you know, as the server grows and over time we're gonna add more things, you know, for people that have been here for a long time, they're gonna get little perks and stuff. Um, and new players, there's you know, you can come here for one night, if we host two or three events that one night, you can end up walking away with the loadout or even a spawn beacon. Spawn beacon, that, that, you brought up something really good there. The spawn beacon is another thing you can buy with your R2 credits. And your spawn beacon is, you can actually place that. So if your base is under attack, what that actually does then is you can use your spawn beacon and spawn right back at your base while it's being attacked. It's, it's another custom script only here at R2. Yep, it's custom to us. Um, also, this here is like our paintball slash close quarters combat arena. It's a mirror image on each side, so that way it's fair. We allow all mass weapons, um, depending on the size of people. We'll also do certain weapons. You'll earn credits for doing this event as well. Uh, you can have up to about 15 to 20 people come from each side in this arena. We found works really well. Um, the Hunger Games, you can have upwards to a full server up to 80 people that we've tested. And, and the Hunger it's Games, the Hunger Games, you enter through the gate right here, and as you see all the buildings placed down, which are all customly put down, they yeah, all custom. they all spawn loot, so that way everybody's got a fair chance. It's all down to how good your ass really is in PvP. And yep. no matter what, if you win or lose, you still get credits. So, on talks, let's do this. Let's fly over. Let's land because I, I really want to show them the, as I just scroll wheel there, the R2 overpack menu. I really want to give okay. them a walk through this because there's some awesome, awesome stuff here. And on talks has to get full credit for this because he's one of the main scripters that done this menu. These guys get very excited. Like this is another custom thing here at a uh, R2. But see, just before we do this, as he's landing. There's something I want to tell you. Have you ever seen the? Well, obviously, if you play if you play Overpock, you know fine rightly. Uh, if you watch my last video, we had a lot of stuff in here where there was it was overpowered. We had the Striders with thermal, the Hunters with thermal. We had a we we had a lot of stuff in here. Well, that's all taken out. And on talks, do me the honor of tell me what it is fucking replaced with, son. All right, we got all. Humvees from your Arma 2 R2 Humvees R2 Humvees Yep, they will be temporary vehicles spawned at the Starry Trader Currently right now under the development server we are rebuilding all the airfields all the Starries We are also uh, redoing the yeah. Gem Trader as well uh, You'll find gems through spawns through missions and other sorts of things you can also buy them from the traders at Starry when people do choose to sell them. And we will show you um, the. We'll definitely show you where the where the gem trader is, uh, and then it's, we can go into more in depth there. But let's click the R2 the R2 over menu, <coughs> over pack menu. Information is basically information. If you scroll wheel, you ever get stuck? You know, a lot of people don't know the team speak. It's right there. Click the team speak. It pops up there in the left hand on the right hand side. Excuse me. And that's all your information. Server rules, you can't break the rules, it's right there. Server events, it's all there. Deployables, that's great. I look on the right hand side and I will actually show you the, the deployables. And so now you, you don't have to look up on Wikipedia what deployables is. It's, at the, it's right at your fingertips. We wanted to design the menu how I thought was that if you're a new player, we get a lot of new players and we get a lot of old returning players from the Armour 2 days. And the one thing that I found any time I was playing on any type of armor server was the lack of information readily available. And that's what we've tried to do with the R2 menu. And obviously, it's always going under, you know, improvements and changes to depending on where our, we're taking the server and the community wants the server to go, right? So that's always going to be, you know, changing, but it's always going to be up to date with the most information and updates that we can possibly provide all our current community members and all our players on the server. Now, <clears throat> on Tugs, there, there was a big thing happened there a couple of days ago. We, we have always had uh, dedicated servers here, but uh, there was a switch. And would you do me the favor of telling these guys about the new dedicated server where there's high FPS, um, there's no lag, it's 
Guys, listen, it. here, jump in. We'll go for a little fly while while you talk. Let's put on earplugs. Yep, you fly. I'll fly. There you go. Tell these guys about the fucking dedicated server, man, because this is big news. And to be honest, there's not a lot of servers out there that, that actually have this. Where Well, basically what we've done is we've decided we want our server to stand out from the rest. And the big part of that is its performance. And I think every single player, regardless whether you have a 750 Ti or 2980s in slide, you want your server to perform as best as possibly can. So that way, you're going to know that your computer is going to push out the maximum amount of frames. So what we've decided to do is we're spending the extra money, always donate, always uh, from donations from any community members, goes directly to all our servers. What we've done is we've upgraded our servers uh, to a dual uh, six core Xeon, which gives us 24 threads and tons of RAM on a 100 megabit line, fully dedicated on meter. It's completely dedicated to Arma. That's all it's for, and that's what we're doing. And that way we can provide, in between 35 under full load on just the one server, 250. And we can run multiple servers off this. We're actually running three right now. Hell you're gonna, yeah. And right now, if you put monitor up, when we're probably averaging about 40 people a night, our frames are anywhere between 35 when crazy stuff is happening to like 48 45. exactly <clears throat> and 50 is your top frame rate for a server so we're keeping right up there if you look on the biz forums any anywhere between 15 15 and 20 to 25 is completely acceptable for online multiplayer games so essentially we're trying to double that to make sure you guys when you come on this server even with all our mods and all our additions you're going to maintain the best fps and gaming performance experience that you can. Very true, and as you can see, I just brought up the, the information there, and the reason why I'm doing that is because on the actual website, if you go to the website that you see on the right-hand side there, uh, what that actually does is, if you go to the homepage, you're going to see the downloadable content for the sound, which I would recommend because it makes your weapon sound awesome. You're going to see the downloadable content all for the Humvees. You're going to see everything that you need to come into this server and make it awesome. And it comes, it actually comes from uh, uh, Google. Untugs has uh, very nicely it? just teleported me up here to Starry. Now, I know Starry looks bare at the minute, but <laughs> remember, we are on the test server. Starry does not look like this. Starry is pimped out on the other server, but they're testing other scripts. And obviously the story script had to be taken out because they're testing some awesome shit that is going to come in the future. One of the we big didn't want things, to spoil the surprise. Exactly. Right? So one of the big things that we're here for is I'm very quickly going to show you the deployables. The gem trader is always going to be here. Uh, there's tires and buildings. The, the whole place is pimped out, but this is the gem trader, and we'll get to him in a second. So let's get to the deployables. Scroll wheel. And as you scroll wheel, I'm getting the gem trader at the one time just yet. So we go to the menu, we go to deployables, e-bike. An e-bike is a large scrap metal which you can get in any industrial or else you can uh, combine three small scrap metals and get yourself a bike. So it doesn't matter where you are on the map, you can get somewhere fucking very quickly. Oh, spawn behind me. Uh, another one we have, <clears throat> this is a big one. Everybody in Overpack looks for an, for an ATM. Everybody, you know, at some stage, yeah, we got to go into the town, got to get an ATM. What's this shit? You can spawn an ATM no matter where you are with an electronic component. Bam, there you are. There's your money. You can do that at your base. You can do that anywhere on the fucking map. And in you can time. place it too. So yep. it allows you to, it gives you a lot of time to place it in your base. Drop. It's great for larger groups that want to go out and loot or do something. You can pop up a temporary ATM. All these despawn on restart. But yep, they're cheap deployables that allow you, you know, to get back in the fight, get back in the game, and to continue, you know, playing in PvP. And, and once again, <clears throat> if you're looking for information, it's right there. Deployables, it's all on the right hand side. Yep. So we're we're gonna just rifle through this. So we come to the gem trader. Now you've looted gems, or or they they spawn all over the map. Now look at all this here stuff. You can get a ghost hawk. Let's get in a ghost hawk to start. And this is a gem. This will despawn after restart. This is only find a gem and get the fuck in the fight. It's very simple. <clears throat> so it takes a little second because it's gems. So you need a quartz to build a ghost hawk. You may not have one. <laughs> I probably don't. 
Uh, let's Let try, try out the Pawnee. Do the Jade, the Pawnee. Uh, I just did That's that. The there it is. Three, two, one. There you go. And it should appear right there. But i got to tell you this. <clears throat> the missiles don't work. Uh, that's too overpowered. It, it, not a hope. Um, we wanted to maintain balance on this server, but allow people to get back in the fight. So all vehicles will not have explosives. They will have guns and lots and lots and lots of bullets to fire. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> so let me just show you this, this one I'm really excited about, guys. Now... <clears throat> Whenever I first seen this, <clears throat> I near enough shit myself a little. Look at this! It is an Arma 2 Humvee in Arma fucking 3, people. And the 50 cal is fucking awesome. You're like, welcome. I've shot down so many little birds with this thing, man. Like, it's... It's, it's, it's just awesome. Well, um, I think... Big, oh, by the way, one of the biggest things, and I cannot say this directly but I shall give you a hint um, and when you come into the server please ask more about it ask one of the admins um, you need a DLC to fly certain choppers when you come in here you might want to check your scroll menu if you don't have the DLC and ask an admin a little bit more about it because it's possible that you may be able to fly without the DLC content and that's I'm not just say every vehicle available on the map that you see you will be able to use yes and it's a scroll wheel option when you get up that's another custom script guys um, well basically on talks I think we have covered everything right up to all the scripts all the new changes um, guys do me a favor check out the R2 website sign up to it, get your ass over here if you're looking for one of the best servers custom scripts it's right here and on talks can I say thank you very much keep up the fucking awesome work brother you're and welcome, man. And do you want to give a quick shout out to a, a couple of guys that has made all this possible? Absolutely. I'd definitely like to make a shout out to Riddles. He's definitely our lead scripter. He's the man who's made pretty much all of this possible. Yeah. And uh, Uncooked Zebra as well. You know, these guys have put a lot. Lone Kira has put time into admitting, and all the other admins that have, you know, and all community members, really. we got a great atmosphere here mature gaming community and I just would like to say thanks to everybody for making R2 what it is. You know, Excellent. It would be nothing without everybody else, right? Exactly. So guys, why don't you come over here and be part of some, something fucking awesome. I'll talk to all you guys soon. Take Well, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that sub and like. Everything you need to know is in the description.